you know, several people in the government in different sides of the negotiation, they say that before, uh, right at the beginning of the talks, maybe we can aim in to wrap this up by the end of the year, by the end of 2017. Now, after two rounds of negotiations, do you think that's feasible or should we start thinking maybe it's going to be a longer process? Seven rounds were pre-committed to, and I think that what can be said at this stage is that, that the rounds have evolved not only as scheduled, but I think that, that the rounds have evolved as one would have expected them to evolve this early in the negotiating process. So at this stage, I think uh, the fact that we still have five more rounds to go, the fact that the conversations are going well, uh, in terms of the expectations that we have, those would not have changed. I think that, that we have more or less moved into the negotiation process as scheduled, uh, the ambitions of each of all of the parties well known and and the conversations I think uh, at the end of each of the rounds have have ended on, on a positive note what is the biggest ambition goal for Mexico what do you really are going to make sure that Mexico reaches on these negotiations or protects in these negotiations we think that the North American integration process is something that creates value for the region if one looks at trade, trade is now trade between regions, and, and the North American Free Trade Agreement gave, I think, the North American region an important competitive advantage. If one looks at trade today, there's a lot of our trade that happens even within Mexico and the U.S. outside of the North American Free Trade Agreement, which means that there has been a convergence between the North American Free Trade Agreement and the World Trade Organization framework. I think our level of ambition is that the Free Trade Agreement with North America makes us more competitive in a way that moves us away from just the, the World Trade Organization advantages and really provides new impetus and a better underpinning uh, for, for an integration process that I think has been key in making North America dynamic and North America competitive.